In this question, we are told that A and B are independent. Kevin, what does that mean? Guys, to be honest, independent is a really weird thing. But what I want you guys to remember is that when they say that, it means the following formula is true. So it means that the probability of A and B is the same as probability of A times B. When you see independent, just write that down. Okay, now it says P of A and B is 0 0.3. Okay, great. P of only B is 0 0.2. Then it says R, A and B mutually exclusive. Motivate your answer. So a mutually exclusive looks like this on a Venn diagram. So it's like A and B cannot overlap. I don't, I've got to use a good example. Okay, I've got it. People at a school who do maths and maths literacy. You can't do both, right? So there will be no people who do both. So this is what mutually exclusive looks like. It means that the probability of A and B will be equal to zero. That is what mutually exclusive means. If we have mutually exclusive, it means that the probability that someone does maths and maths literacy is zero. So we say P of A and B equals zero. But now they've told us that P of A and B is not zero. They've told us that it's 0 0.3. So we would say, no, it's not mutually exclusive. And then we'd say, because P of A and B is not equal to zero. So what we need to do now for this next question, only A, is I would advise that we draw a Venn diagram. So we know that they are going to, the circles are going to overlap because we know that they're not mutually exclusive. So we can say A and B. Now they've told us that B only is 0 0.2. Now be careful, what does only B mean? Only B is this part. Some students think that it's all of this, but that's not true, it's this part here. So only B is 0 0.2, okay? Then it says probability of A and B is 0 0.3, so that's this part over here. And then some students are just gonna go fill this in and say uh, 0 0.5, but you've gotta be careful. There might be stuff on the outside there might be stuff on the outside. So to work out probability of A, we could use uh, this formula over here because they told us that these events are independent. But remember that when they say A, they are meaning the whole of A, the whole of A, so that's all of this. And when they're saying the probability of B, they mean the whole of B, which is all of that. Okay, that's these parts here aren't the only, they're not only. So we know that probability of A and B is 0 0.3. We've been told that. Probability of A, we don't know what that is. And then B is all of B, so that's these two together, so that's 0 0.5. And now you can go work out the probability of A, which will be 0 0.3 over 0 0.5, which will be 0 0.6. That doesn't mean we're going to put 0 0.6 there. What that means is that the whole of A is 0 0.6. So that means this one will be 0 0.3. Now, if you had to go add this all up, you would see that that only gives you 0 0.8. And so the outside must be a 0 0.2 so that all of the decimals add up to 1 because that's what probability does. It always adds up to 1. So if they want us to find now the probability of A, so you could show this in the test how you did that, and then from your Venn diagram, you could then just say um, only A is this part over here, and so your answer would be 0 0.3, but you would show the Venn diagram. Or you wouldn't actually have to show the Venn diagram if you didn't want to, you could also do this. You could do what we did here, equals to P of A times by 0 0.5, and then you could work out the probability of A as 0 0.6, and then you could just say 0 0.6 minus this 0 0.3, which was over there, and that would give you 0 0.3. Okay, then the last one is probability of not A or not B. So not A or not B. So we need to remember the formula for or. Or goes like this. So the or formula is on your formula sheet as the following. where this part here is or, and this part here is and. But now we need to be careful. The two events that they want is not A and not B. So I need to go change it to not A or not B. 
equals to not a. Oh, I'm going to run out of space. Okay, I'm going to try to squeeze it in here. So, guys, for my not a, I'm going to say like this. I'm going to put a little line like that. That means not, okay? Not b. Okay, because that's what they wanted. This is just the generic formula that we have on our formula sheet. Right, and this is what we're trying to solve. So, we need to see not a. So, not a, so if you look on your Venn diagram, where's not a? Well, it's everything besides a. So, not a would be 0 0.2 and 0 0.2, so that's 0 0.4. Then it says not b, okay, so not b is everything besides b, so that's 0 0.5, because there's this and this. And then it says not a and not b. So think about that. Where are the places on this diagram that are not in a and they also not in b? So that would only be this part. Not in a, so it's not allowed to be in a, and it's, okay, so it's not allowed to be in a, and it's also not allowed to be in b. So that means it's 0 0.2, which is the one on the outside. And if we had to go work this out, we end up with 0 0.7.